Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are talking about a concept that is variation of the acceleration due to gravity from the surface of the earth as we go above the surface of the earth to a height or to an attitude. Let us understand what is that is. We know earth is approximately spherical in shape. Assume this is the earth whose entire mass is concentrated at the center. So from the center to the surface we have a distance nothing but the radius of the earth. If I have another particle of mass m between these two now there is a gravitational force. When the body is on the surface the gravitational force between them is as per the Newton law of gravitation distance of separation square nothing but radius. Now we are shifting the body to a certain height the same body is now shifted to a height h. As the height is different automatically the gravitational force also will be automatically different. As the gravitational force is different I can write first of all this force as something like a mg because on any of the particle force acting is nothing but equal to mg equal to gm m by r square m and m can be cancelled so g on the surface of the earth is gm by r square so we will further write in terms of g itself now at a height h that is from the surface but the gravitation force acts on the center because mass is concentrated at the center the total height becomes automatically r plus h this total height new acceleration due to gravity is gm by r plus h whole square now i want to compare the new acceleration due to gravity at a height with respect to the original so g dash by g is gm by r plus h whole square and gm by r square so it will be get reversed gm gm gets cancelled so r by r plus h whole square is g dash by g or g dash equal to I can take the g to the other side and that's a final equation we can use g dash equal to r by r plus h whole square where h is right on the surface into g but let us start writing a kind of a constraint or a condition Suppose you have gone to a height which is say for example very small. In that case I want to write this equation once again. What happens? I can write g dash by g as r by r plus h whole square by dividing with r both in numerator and denominator it will be like this that is 1 plus h by r whole power minus 2 I just got the term that is there in the denominator into the numerator now I can apply binomial expansion for this you know probably formula for a binomial expansion x plus y whole power n equal to nc0 x power n y power 0 
n c one x power n minus one y power one and so on n number of the terms are there in this case you know n c zero is one x power n is one power n n is of course half but one power anything is equal to one you know one power anything is nothing but equal to one itself y power zero anything power zero equal to one so the first term in this case becomes one you know n c one equal to n taking this into consideration if i rewrite my equation g dash by g is n c zero is one that is one c zero x power n one power minus half that is equal to one y power zero h by r power of zero that is also equal to one plus second term n c one is n and in our case is minus one x power n minus one one power minus two minus one and then y power one that is h by r i am not writing any of the further terms and ignoring the terms because as we go further i will get h square in the numerator and r square in the denominator as h value is very small we are taking that condition if the height is small if the height is small that's the condition that we are further considering so h square becomes much smaller than r square and hence i am ignoring all the further terms it implies g dash by g is first term is 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 this is minus 2 1 power anything is nothing but 1 only h by r that implies g dash equal to 1 minus 2 h by r multiplied by g but be very careful that I shall use this relation only when h value is much smaller than the radius of the year. If h is considerable value, I shall not use this formula, rather I shall use this formula. Therefore, we have two formulas as our choice for the variation of acceleration due to gravity with respect to height. Thank you for watching.